Hello and welcome to another Let's Play with me, Punkamau Andy. So today it's going to be another um, format of recording the old way, uh, the new way. Sorry, um, I'm going to be doing two farms. This is going to be ten to fifteen minute video, uh, part of the Let's Play series. Um, first up today, I obviously in my industrial district, as you can see, um, I'm going to be looking at doing a chicken farm now i'm just trying to decide on where i'm going to put it i want it over this side away from my cow from a cow farm purely because i also want to get rid of all the mushroom over here to increase the rates over there and i don't want to interfere with the um, mushroom farm um i've got these little uh scaffolding towers dotted around it which indicates where spawners are Hmm. Got spawner there, spawner there. There's one just there. Uh, let's have a quick check. What is this spawner? This might actually be down to the mine shaft rather than the spawner. Mine shaft, but it does keep going. It's, nope, it is just down to the mine shaft. Okay. Looks like the area could be. Hang on, what's over here? No, that looks fine to me. Means this will be the one that's going. Double check, spin around, nothing there. No, plain simple size. Yeah, there isn't really anything there. So this is looking. So I recently flew. Um, Bedrock has an issue with hitboxes. So yeah, this looks like it's going to be the area. So I'm going to get it. Uh, all prepared and ready to make the uh, mushroom farm, uh, mushroom, the chicken farm. So let's get on with building it and I will be back shortly, guys. And I'm back. So I have gone ahead and completed the uh, chicken farm now. Um, I, what I've done is I've been using a... Oh, that's going to get burned. There is lava behind there. What I'm doing is I'm using a piston rather than a... Um, dispenser what you see in other farms because dispensers on bedrock are not that reliable oh yeah of course it's not going to work two seconds i said i'll finish but i haven't sky access there you go that's far enough so what happens is got, let's go to the top first of all so what i've done is i've got a load of chickens in here producing eggs um they're sat on top of moss carpets that reason it's going so fast because i've just emptied out excess that i had in my um please to, oh no 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 phew thank goodness for that see so, yeah, i was just emptying out the excess <laughs> eggs that i brought over uh, into that bit it will continue so what happens they obviously go into there i've got a the detection clock onto my dispenser that's firing out chickens into the bottom layer that you see just here and it's about to turn night time so you will see this in operation in a minute because it's going to change state from day to night and the observer will detect that daylight sensor turning off when it happens. Come on, chop chop. Because they're still young, they won't actually cut. But you'll see that the lava blade um, will hover just above them. So come on, chop chop. No, not going to work. Wait, it's night time now. Why did that not work? Still signal coming out. It's on daytime. Uh, it is slowly fading. There you go. It did actually turn off. Did it? There you go. Turned off and the lava blade goes above. And the baby ones that sit on top of that hopper. There's a hopper underneath that half slab. The baby ones that sit on that half slab do not uh, burn because I only half a block tall, as you can see. 
So you just throw a dispenser into a half slab, and that's how you get it. Uh, do it any? No, there wasn't any final ones. When they um, do grow up, you'll get uh, cooked chicken in these as well as feathers. So my next move is to make a kelp farm. Now I'm not too sure I'm making the kelp farm. Um, I want it. I want a quite a big kelp farm. Hmm. So that did actually go down to a skeleton spawner slightly off of it. I think skeleton spawner is like there. So I'm going to make a farm from that as well. Uh, possibly turning them into husks. Uh, not husks, strays. Um, because at the moment there is a thing with charge creepers. You make them explode next to strays. They drop wither skulls. There's no need to go to the um, never to get wither skulls. Um, I'm just trying to think how big that. Oh my! It's not going to have a killing chamber at the top. So I'll probably be there. We have a cup on with it there. Hmm. Cup on my fit here though, actually. Shall I do it there? Um, don't I've got an idea for another farm to go in here anyway already. It's already half cleared out, so I'm not gonna put one there. Yeah, I think there let's have a look. Have I got any Well right, I need to investigate what that is. That is the zombie spawner. That's gonna be a purification thing over there. Let's have a I think that might be a uh, spider if that is I can build that one underground just have an underground entrance and do the cow farm on top I was going to do it next to the bamboo but I'm going to redo the bamboo farm at some point um, possibly you know a few episodes time because the minecarts just kept disappearing so I'm going to get rid of the minecart system and use something slightly different but I'm going to go in and get on to Clearing out space, um, yeah, it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be here. We'll get out clearing out space, and I'll be back when I've done the kelp farm. And I'm back, so I have gone ahead and finished off the uh kelp farm, it is currently going. Um, I have uh, so it's two double wide columns, so the first one is where the one at the first back is the one where the cap grows and then a bubble column at the front so what it does when it goes grows in front of the observer it pushes it forward into the bubble column up to the top and then there's two flowing ones back so to make the flowing on a double wide you have to have that one flowing into one slightly lower and that one has to be flowing backwards as well it goes into a a flow into a water stream at the back which flows all the way down here do it just behind here is a drop tower which feeds into the hoppers and then into these chests now I don't know what sort of rates I'm getting from this so I just know that it's designed to basically grow crop and then filter into the chest when I'm just afk in this area I also have another switch here which can activate the hoppers so press that it will then activate any of the hoppers where any of them are grown uh, but not quite grown to the dispenser you can see it's gone through and then filter them into the uh, chest again um oh that, that could have been dangerous let's, let's go around the back here just so i can show you we've got a torch tower going up and then it feeds off into the uh redstone lines on each of them so i'm quite glad with this because it's now beginning to look more and more like an industrial district especially this little bit just here <laughs> Uh, I've decorated a little bit here as well using the moss with the bow mill. Um, so much easier than having to go through and, and do it any other way. This gives it sort of like an organic feel anyway. Uh, I've started doing it to other parts of the island. I'm going to bow mill a few of the um, azaleas and flowering azaleas just to get the trees just so it looks a bit more organic. And I've also started over there because it cuts down. On the other side there, just so it cuts down on the spawning to allow my um, bee farm to grow. But yeah, I'm getting quite a few builds in this area now. Um, obviously, I've done the chicken farm over there today. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to be doing in the next episode. Um, going to, I'm going to be doing rooted dirt because that's a nice, simple, mini, easy farm to do. 
when I say simple and easy, you'll see it's much more simple than any of these. So I don't know if it belongs in the industrial district, to be honest, um, because of the way it works. It's more of a micro farm, but I might sh shove it in here somewhere. Um, it'll probably be the case that I'll end up building, say, an AFK room somewhere. Someone will have mini AFK rooms around. And that will do, because you can AFK that one. Um, with an automatic button presser. Um, let's try and have, I've got a few like spawners below as well that I can work on. Um, yeah, so when I left the last video, I was planning on doing it over this direction. Um, yeah, because I was planning on doing it just here, wasn't I? Or just here. However, right below this bit is a quad spider spawner so that's going to be fun in making the spider spawners up i think it's three cave and one normal so i'm going to try and see if i can get it to doing in to a way that i can chuck potions at them to kill them to get spider eyes and string i'm probably going to have two of them set to just string and two set to um spider eyes at some point i don't know if that'll be in the next video or not um i also want to get a cocoa farm now cocoa farm's a huge there's a couple of designs out there um, to do. So, um, I'm in an industrial district, which has a huge amount of land. Do I do one straight wall? Or do I, do... I might do the design. Yeah, I might do that in the next video. Is a cocoa farm actually? Which instantly means I need to go and chop down a jungle to get jungle wood. Cocoa means I've not got an issue with I've got some that will harvest. But the only thing with a cocoa farm is it's not um, automatic. It's, it is manual or semi-automatic because you flush it out with the water streams. Um, so I've got an idea of a design uh, that I'm going to do. Uh, and it will probably fit nicely in just this area and take up most of it with a centerpiece as well. Um, so I, and I need to, of course, uh, farm as well at some point. I don't, it's, I don't think it's going to be long until I move on to the back bit over there. Or over there. I don't know what I'm going to be doing over there yet. But yeah, these are... All massive farms. I've then got to go back and redo these. Um, although I'm happy with them. At the same time I'm not happy. Because of the way they're. No longer fitting in with the thing. And sugar cane grows so slowly on bedrock. Yeah they're not really fitting in with the design. That one I can redo the design. Just had never brick here and there. Um, that one I can't. The bamboo one I'm definitely not happy with. Because of the minecarts and bedrock. So I'm putting it in, it's stripping this down, rebuilding it. And I've got an idea of how to do it. It's quite a bit of work to do because it's a whole, that'll probably be an episode on its own. And it's whether I have a gap from that to that, which I probably will do just so I can separate the buildings out a bit more. Which means, few seconds, what is down here? It's just a massive hole. Don't want to take my chances of bamboo in here. Uh, not bamboo, but scaffolding somewhere. I think it's my redstone box. Let's have a quick check. Nope. Well, uh, what I'll do is I'll have a check in between episodes. Um, find out what's down there. But yeah, I'll probably end up moving it over a little bit. Um, because then it'll look okay once I've got the... Sugar came farm extended uh, in the next uh sugar cane one i'm gonna re not redo but extend it in the next update and the 1.18 update because of the build height limit i'm gonna start extending these up more and more because uh, i'll have the resources and i'll need to finish off them farms um which i might actually do soon as well i kind of want to get a few of these farms finished, finalised uh, for when I move on to, before I move on to the base. So, 
I'm going to leave it here, guys. And I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.